the Court of Public Opinion and support of the Amateur Radio Network. You can also support us at Brighteon, our new home, and also at YouTube. Click like and subscribe. Help us and support us at Patreon as well. Well, we're going to talk about uh, President Trump's approval rating and also hydrocortisone is the drug that um, President Trump is taking. And I, I just overheard that um, on Fox News. Um, uh, the Ingram Angle, or I believe it was uh, the show right after there with uh, 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 it, it's a Fox program. I don't follow Fox, um, just getting back into the swing of things. Um, I featured uh, Saving the Constitution because everything that's going on is about the Constitution um, here in Pennsylvania as well. Um, so, um, Job approval rating, I think that's where some of us were at with uh, any time you start hearing about force inoculations and things like that, that's when um, I think a lot of people that are not familiar with it, you know, we'll talk about, you know, the human side of this issue. And um, force inoculations is the last thing I wanted to hear. Um, so if you are on board with me, you uh, can support and click like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithms when um, you like my post and um, you can bring your uh, matter to me. It might be small, but uh, here at the Court of Public Opinion, we'd like to hear your case. Uh, well, let's just tell you about what goes on legally. Um, Governor Wolf said he didn't think that they had a legal option or had a legal chance and that's exactly what the problem is with tyranny it's like the leaders are allowed to do things that the citizens are not allowed to do and that's what tyranny is and um thank god we have a post like this because um our assignment is pretty simple you buy a 20 dollar book and read it <laughs> um and we're not doing as many posts because um, we want to get back into reading. And uh, we've tried to do something over the weekend with uh, the cooking segment that's over. All the segments have ended uh, because we are going into June and this is our slow season. Um, we're really going to be doing mostly homework um, all summer and into the fall. So... Um, I always wanted to start like different radio spots and radio shows. And, um, because what I do is I'm a background person. I'm not a radio host. I'm actually created the court of public opinion for a potential host. So if you see why the red seat is empty, it's because we need an actual host and I'm filling in right now. And... I've learned how to do this job um, at cross training. Um, I started out as a key grip, so I do all the background stuff. I try to do the graphics. I am I work in production design, but I've been filling in lately. <laughs> I hope I'm doing a better job. I mean, for being a production design person, I had to learn a voiceover and all the other stuff, um, and that's because I work for Shavis. Sterling Productions um, in KRNB in Dallas. He was uh, my voiceover coach as well and a close friend of our family. So I got to learn how to do this job and it's a very hard job to do. Anyway, um, saving the Constitution. One of the things I'm concerned about is because I listened to Alex Jones earlier today is that there is a promotion of uh, hatred towards white people and this was something that's going on in South Africa and uh, there are things that you see that racism exists in other parts of the world and it's promoted that way hatred towards white people you know or in the case of Chicago black on black crime you know I just hope we're smarter and wiser at the court of public opinion where we can talk it out you know if uh and get past the racial stuff and get past a lot of the comments 
and just talk like people are supposed to talk. That's that's what what I created the court of public opinion for, and that's why I want you to know. I encourage you to bring your topics and ideas my way, and we'll see if we can weigh it out here at the court of public opinion. The Court of Public Opinion is a part of the Amateur Radio Network.